Hello all, welcome back to Semi-Permadeath. This is Series Lee's here, and today we are going to head out. We need to answer our hail. That was not the uh, pirate update hail, apparently. Uh, it's a mission hail, and we can't avoid it, so we have to answer that before we warp. But while people are landing, let's see if anyone has uranium for sale. Ooh, I saw yellow. Ah, no, 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 nothing. Here's a hauler. I haven't seen any haulers. I've checked this guy. I checked the explorers that were here. I bought the magnetic resonators I needed. Uh, but I did not find uranium yet. So we might just... Ah, ha, ha. Ooh, and that's like exactly enough. We have 10 left over. I might buy this guy's tritium too, just for the extra pulse fuel. I, I don't know if we have the hydrogen jelly. I don't know that we need it. We're going to need launch fuel eventually, but we've got 10 leftover uranium after we finish installing that. So we'll get like a, a quarter of a launch recharged. Maybe this guy has uranium too. We'll buy all of his uranium. If he has any. Uh, actually, if he has none, we'll buy all of that as well. Uh, no, no uranium. Chromatic metal, we're going to get plenty of when pirates attack us now that we have a positron installed with the upgrade. Also, something that is available in this system is an S-Class positron module. We're going to just straight up install those right where they are. And uh, these, I think, are always 15, 15, and 3. I, maybe you can get 4%. I don't know. I rerolled them a couple times on another save recently, and I only ever got 3s. Might have just been a really string of bad luck. They might just be a really rare four, but I'm content to use them as threes. I think we're good to go. We can fight for ourselves now. Uh, we're back on street, uh, back on track for easy mode. All right, let's answer this hail. Who's this? Apollo? Accept uh, coordinates. I know this uh, nuts. This was <laughs> that was the pirate signal. Ah, darn. Well, let's get out of here. Like we said we were going to, I did also install, and you know we're just going to avoid Qui Gon Jin over here, whatever it is, pirate system. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to avoid that. Obviously, uh, I did install the economy scanner. But there was no hyperdrive modules in that system, so we, we don't have a very good light year range. There's a three-star GEC economy right there. Can't see the conflict level. Maybe we can get some free nanites at a three-star, <coughs> excuse me, three-star Viking economy, if there's one nearby. Probably not. Not within a hundred light years, which is our range right now. So, like, most stars are just out of range. Let's go back to that three-star Gek. Uh, it was up here somewhere. Oh, uh, there's a three-star Gek, and it is in range. Is that, that is not the same one. It has a different symbol. But we'll go there. We'll go to this three-star Gek. Lots of rich Geks around here. Go figure that the trading race is the rich race. Actually, that's not universally true as far as I've seen. There's just as many three-star of each race systems. They're just clustered randomly, so sometimes you get a bunch of these. I've seen uh, twin systems, like within five light years of each other. Nah, was it five or 15? It was a very short light year uh, range. Okay, first contact, four planets and a moon. Dangerous conflict level, do not like to see that. Let's head to the space station. We've got stuff to buy here, keeping on the theme of upgrades before we continue our mission. Yeah, you know what we are going to do first things first before we even land? We're taking that off. We're putting this back on. We have to scan for a hollow terminus, and we're going to do it in this star system after we buy a suit slot and uh, check the multi-tool cabinet and see what's available. We have uh, 1,200 nanites. We can buy two S-Class modules, essentially, of any type. Let's see what's for sale. We also need to buy a good multi-tool. Ooh, a crystal. Neat. It's only C-Class. That's unfortunate. But a crystal on a tech kind of gun is sort of neat. I like that. Pretty cool look. 
suit slot. We've got money, so we can just buy whatever we want. We can even pay 500,000 for this tar cargo slot. Is that 500 yet? Yeah. Let's, let's not. Let's buy um, a bit of tech. I've got something to install to move over there. Artemis's scanner. I think we still need that for now. I can't remember. But it frees us up a slot. Oh, there we go. Definitely buying this before, you know, come on, mouse, come on. Let me buy it. Don't try to talk me out of that by failing right when I'm clicking. <laughs> We're not going to die. It's permadeath. I'm, I'm a good jetpacker. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. We do need a shield module. We, <laughs> that's the other thing I'm looking for. Or hyperdrive on here. And we did not get one. Take a couple free nanites, though. Thank you, sir. Oh, hey, maybe a couple more. Probably not. Probably a navigation data. Yeah. Uh, you know what we could look at? A nice colored ship. I really like that uh, explorer, Mr. Gek. We can see what's for sale. We need more uranium for launch fuel. The hauler had it in the last system. Let's check this guy out. Get around this gooseneck. All right, I think that's actually a hydra neck or a split neck or whatever you'd call that split neck one. The gooseneck one goes up like a gooseneck. Oh, I, I didn't install that module yet. <laughs> we could do that now that we got a tech slot. Got your uranium for sale. Hmm? Hmm? No, not at the terminal. Oh, you know what we should do is consolidate some stuff. How much can we hold over here? That'll free up a slot as well. And that was probably not 21. Oh, it was. Excellent. Excellent. We freed up a slot. Install this. First, let's move this over here, and then we'll get an adjacency bonus. There we go. What did we get? We're not going to re-roll. Yeah, we probably should have re-rolled. <laughs> Even though I love to see recharge rate. Ooh, ooh, a solar ship. Uh, no, no thanks. Green, that's neat. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of green solar ships. That's cool. Uh, green with green sails might be really nice if you're looking for green. Maybe we'll work on that on survival. I haven't played survival in a hot minute. <laughs> um, all right, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to start scanning. I do not know what's available in this system, so maybe we'll just hit scan in space and see what we get. We didn't. We didn't talk to this guy. Let's ask him. Uranium? Got uranium for sale? No. Mm, click. Uh, uh, no, I already got the magnetic resonators. <clears throat> We're good. I mean, I don't have any left over. Ooh, there's another nice, almost nice ball hauler. Two ball haulers in this system. And another, wow, lots of uh, solar ships landing here. I have not seen that happen in a regular star system. There's some uranium. Oh, and a lot. It is a three-star economy. That's great. I'm just going to buy it all. The, the slots be darned. We're going to use it over the course of our travels. And speaking of travels, let's do some travel. <clears throat> so we also need a shield module. Let's keep an ear or an eye out for a shield module. And I cannot hit scan to see what this is. I know it's not all water. Like it looks like the ground just hasn't loaded in. I can, however, look around and see if I see anything fancy looking. There's something behind the space station. Oh, that's a moon over there. Okay. Something behind this planet. Let's pulse and take a look. If I scan, it's going to pick a, a random-ish planet. <laughs> Random-ish. I don't know. I don't know how it determines it. Ooh. Could be a red sky over there. You know what? Let's go take a peek. Could be aggressive sentinels. Could be... Uh, Hazardous weather. We could also go hunt down Buckengek Muherd Amid for 800, 100,000 units. Nah, no thank you. Orange skies. Oh well. It does appear to be a lush. Could have aggressive sentinels. We do not know. It looks like it's going to be stormy because I can see. Uh, rainy sort of weather already.
Maybe not. Maybe I was seeing things. All right, we're in atmosphere. Should be good enough. Let's hit our scanner. See what we get for this mission. Call the terminus detected. Where at, though? Some other planet, maybe? <laughs> Behind us? Okay, I see it. Uh, it sort of looks close, but that can be deceiving. 11 seconds away, that's very close. Approximate location, I feel like it's this one, but we've been wrong before. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can hop all the way to the top with one jetpack module. Uh, I don't know, is it worth the risk? We don't want to run out of jetpack going all the way up and die on permanent. <laughs> Uh, I bet we can get up to that platform. Oh, maybe not. Just, just, that was, uh, that was a gamble. That was a gamble. We're not going to do that next time. We're going to get another movement module before we do that ever again. <laughs> but uh, we are going to get another movement module probably before another shield module if I find one because I want to be able to skip that every time because we're going to be doing a lot of hollow terminus visits on this save so I don't want to have to walk those ladders are not fun hey Apollo I'm a quote unquote friend of Artemis uh, I'm just going to stare back at them this time I don't think I've done that before I wish I could let him end the call. That would be fun. <laughs> uh, I'm a traveler. I'm not even going to say I'm a friend. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> going to be as dismissive as possible. Uh, he already knows Artemis sent me. This is great. I have never picked these options before. I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, oh, I can only say Artemis is in trouble. I don't have any choices there. All right. I thought there was always an option. I've never picked Refuse, but I just want to get this going. I don't want to have to uh, to deal with it. some anger or have to do anything else. I don't know what he would say. I think it has to let you keep going, right? Uh, I'm just going to agree. I've, I have suggested that life is worth more than profit. Uh, work on this together? Yeah, I'm not going to reject. It's, it's just more of a hassle to say no. <laughs> End communication. All right. What's next, then? Awakenings, Artemis missions... Paul's contact is outside, so we have to warp again. That's great. We want more suit slots. We want more access to more tech. We want more nanites, so we're going to save and chart. We've met 10 aliens. We can go back up to the anomaly before we warp. We should probably do that. We can collect some milestone nanites. We can collect some... Um, in fact, we might even be directed to go up to the anomaly and talk to an added polo. Uh, is there a shelter here? There usually is. I didn't see it. Oh, there it is, right behind the ship. Uh, suit slots. Ooh, no suit slots. Ship slots? No ship slots. Let's look at what we got going on. See what we can consolidate where. Uh, Gak Relics. There we go. And that'll free up two slots over here. And can I put this in, say, the launch thrusters? I can. Did it consume all of it? It filled them up. Oh, no, it consumed only 40. All right, all right, that's fine. We still have two slots. We're good. We are not going to pick up poop. We're going to avoid that, delete it get nanites. That's great. Nanites are fine. No big deal not getting a module. Although getting a, say an A-class or a B-class module is a way better nanite deal than what we just got. Oh, uh, speaking of, so is this generally. 43, no. <laughs> not very good today. Oh well. We spent a lot. We are down to 770. We can only buy one more S-class, so we do need to get going and making some of those back. There are more ships I could scrap. We are going to the anomaly. Apollo's contact will help you expand the base. 
No, we haven't been con uh, directed to go back to the anomaly, but maybe we skipped one. Yeah, uh, we probably skipped one. <laughs> uh, that happens when you set your mission to um, the Artemis path. Say when you install a technology and you unpin that technology or you pick up the pirate mission by accident, right? And you choose the uh, Artemis path again. You might have avoided uh, a signal to go to Nada and Polo. So let's talk to them for another 80 nanites. I mean, if we were happy to pick up 43 nanites just now, just for a delay, this is a minor delay for twice as many and some Quicksilver, and we can for sure make it up here now that we have another movement module. Plenty of leftover tanks. Hello, Nada. Oh, I don't think we got anything from that. All right, well, let's pick up our nanites from uh, this guy over here, Ares. I think we've gotten three, maybe, or four milestones. Let's see if we get 200. Uh, transmit milestone data. 200, there we go, four milestones. Uh, we've already talked to him today. He wanted Flora, and he did, I didn't see how many nanites he gave us. Probably just five. I don't think I've scanned a lot of plants. See, the weekend mission is still available. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm tempted. I am tempted. We don't really have a freighter to do this with, but we don't really need a freighter either. Uh, let's collect a Twitch reward. And let's pick a fighter. This is from the newest set, so let's see what we get from that. We could also actually just keep this. I mean, the Golden Vector is not that good on this save with its limited tech and storage slots. We're going to claim it, and we're going to scrap it, though. I think the Golden Vector suits us better. We already modeled ourselves after it, right? <laughs> Be ashamed to scrap it now. I don't think I've ever scrapped a golden vector. That would be almost a sacrilege. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, we, we forgot to do something there. Let's uh, not kill that pirate. Let's fly right back inside. Whoopsie doodle. If we're here to make nanites, we're up to 970. It's okay. But hopefully we'll get a couple of A-class modules from this. If one of them's a hyperdrive, I'm going to keep that one, since I can't seem to find S-Class hyperdrive for sale. And I can't really afford it, even if I do. I think suit slot modules are much more important right now uh, than hyperdrive. So, X button, switch ships to that. Boop, there it is. The Prime Voice. Let's get out of here, Prime Voice pretty sleek actually I like that design I've never flown a uh, tier 2 droid ship like this at least not one without wings it's nice sort of cool oh how far are we away oh I did not plan on that uh, we might have to fight in this ship as is without our upgrades 40 seconds away by pulse at least we have the fuel to get there Maybe we should have gone to the space station first, then called the anomaly in. I also realize, I realize, we forgot the suit slot. That was like the main purpose of going there, suit slot and nanites. And uh, I headed to the back, but then I went and got distracted by Ares and free nanites. It was 200 nanites, that's, that's pretty juicy, it's pretty tempting. <laughs> Whoops, we'll head back, we can do that. We can call the anomaly in wherever we are. See? <laughs> right in front of the entrance of the space station. Uh, you know what? May as well. We'll do it first. This way, uh, we're nice and close when we want to go scrap this thing finally. Aha! And the pirates can't get us in here. I mean, they wouldn't be able to get us in the real space station either. <laughs> the, the real space... <laughs> this is a real space station, I think. As much as any of the space stations in this game are real, right? Oh, 
All right, suit slot. You can't evade me this time. I think we will buy our $500,000 one. Because we're not going to get any kind of cheap ones anywhere anytime soon. And we're scrapping another ship anyway, so let's just get this one out of the way. Next one will be 100, 150,000, whatever. Yeah, I think it's 100,000. I think there's an extra zero on the end of the $50,000 slot. All right, back in the scrapper. It's a fairly nice looking ship, like I said, but it's it's gone. Sorry, uh, Red 5, or whatever the droid name is there. <laughs> Alright, it's right behind us, but I think the entrance... Oh, no, the entrance is on this side. That's great. Didn't notice that before. This thing has no maneuverability. So we'll take it a bit slow. And let the tractor beam do the work. Okay, how much suit slot space do we have? Oh my goodness, not a lot. We're going to have to delete that. Or sell. We could have sold it as well, but it's just not worth very much. Uh, we need space. We need space. We bought a suit slot. Let's see what we can pack into there. We can make two slots available with this. Oh! Starship high capacity has... Oh, no, no. Yeah, oof, I've made this mistake before. Do not move stuff to your Starship high capacity if you're scrapping that ship. Exosuit high capacity. There we go. I wish it said cargo instead of high capacity so I could differentiate them. Uh, easier in my, you know, if my lazy brain isn't reading the whole thing. It's just seeing high capacity and going click. Okay, A-class ship. Five slots. No, I think we need to sell the Gek Relics and Viking Daggers and stuff. Hey, more ball haulers. I'm having good luck finding these things. Not my favoriteest colors on this guy, uh, but the guy's wearing an outfit that matches. That's cool. That's pretty rare. <laughs> Trade. Uh, no, I want to sell. I could give these away for rep. I might actually do that. Uh, yeah, there's going to be at least four Gex here. We'll sell that one, though. We'll sell that one, though. We're not going to save that stuff for portals. We'll get there. Uh, there's two slots. We already did our triangulation. We'll sell that. We can make another one if we need to. There's a slot. Let's go get a bit of rep. Let's go talk to some Gex. Can we, can we give these guys? I don't think we can. I mean, he's a Gek, but let's see what's available here. Uh, recruit a squadron. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We don't even have a freighter yet. Give me a break. Squadron. Hey, you're a Gek. Would you like a relic? Offer a gift, number two. There we go. Hey, you. How about you? You get a Gek relic. You get a Gek relic. You get... Oh, they refuse. Oh, okay. Well, then you don't get one. I guess. <laughs> How about you? They accept with gratitude. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. There's some rep increasing. Offer a relic. Accept with gratitude. Excellent. How about you? There we go. Three more rep and an extra slot. That should, in theory, be enough to scrap this fighter. Another. Oh, this is the same system. <laughs> That's the same one we saw earlier. That makes three ball haulers here. All right. Uh, scrap 12 million. Not bad. Hopefully we have the slots for it now. No, we don't. All right, let's take a peek. What can we get rid of? What are we willing to abandon? And what's in our cargo? That only takes up a single slot in the front. Let's see if we can double stack anything out here. No. Oh, yeah, condensed carbon. Sure. 
that's one more slot. You know what else we're, I'm willing to abandon? Something that I don't have of, is a weapon. So let's get rid of the ammo. There's an extra slot. I'll put that down there. Let's see what we got. Maybe we can do this. Two more slots. Come on, gamble. <laughs> we might get a lot of modules from this. This might be the issue, yeah. Uh, fighters tend to give a lot of modules because they have weapon systems installed. Uh, I bought this because we might need it. But you know what? It's only 74,000 units, so I think I'm just going to scrap that. Uh, we've got enough ferrite dust to make another metal plating. I'm going to scrap that. That's two more slots. I don't know that that's enough. We'll find out. We will find out. It'd be a shame to be stuck with this guy. We have to go back to the anomaly to switch ships. There we go, finally. All right, phase beam, infra knife, uh, just the two. What do we need all that room for? Oh, three, three modules, okay. Uh, none of them were hyperdrives. We got a storage augmentation. We're definitely gonna use that. We need all the slots we can get here. Purchase, sell, bada bing, bada boom. Now we're at 1800. Let's go to buy. We got our movement module here already. That's right. Golden vector. We're going to upgrade starship. Uh, apply augmentation. It's. I don't know if they're ever going to fix this or if this is the new, if this is intended. I don't want to waste an augmentation in case the patch drops and the golden vector gets fixed. So I'm just going to put it here for now same result either way is we get an extra slot in the main inventory uh, what else did we get from that we need to make some money I guess we'll sell that stuff scrap dealer all right uh, no I didn't mean to ask what you're selling I meant to purchase old scrap purchase old scrap and sell <laughs> how about you buy some old scrap sir or some new scrap actually And four living glass. Yeah, we're not going to hang on to that to make it better. That's a lot of money to pass up on. All right. There we go. Maybe we should try to keep the inventory not clogged so we can do that again sometime. <laughs> we'll make a save because we got a bunch of nanites from that. We didn't get anything we need. <sighs> Let's go find that contact. It's in a new star system. And uh, I don't think we're going to find the actual contact right now, but we are going to get to the space station. Uh, yeah, up here, 33 light years away, tier 2 economy. It's Viking, we'll get some free nanites from the space station, but we're probably not going to get a lot of uh, resources here, which is fine. Suit slot, nanites, we can handle that. Polo's contact, was it... Apollo's contact? Somebody's contact. Apollo's contact. I knew there was some P's and some O's and some L's in there. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got over there? That's a nice looking red planet. Do we have to scan for our mission? Because I don't want to ruin our mission, but I'm going to scan. Flourishing planet, that's what I thought. Lots of planets here. But uh, that's not what we're interested in at the moment. Oh, now it wants us to go to the anomaly. That's fine. We are going to the anomaly, but we'll do that next time. I'm not going to forget that suit slot either. Yeah, probably will. <laughs> Hopefully, leaving those guys on call and uh, that being the targeted mission of go to the anomaly and update them on what's going on. Hopefully... That will remind me to buy the suit slot in the anomaly. We'll see, because I'm not going to be recording that episode until probably next weekend. Well, no, there will be a new weekend mission for me to ignore on this save. Cargo slots. We'll get them because they can hold twice as much small stuff. Come on, S-Class anything. 
<laughs> I mean, that's better than our current weapon, to be fair, but no. Nah. All right, I'm going to grab the nanites. I'm going to look around this tier two station in between episodes, and we will come back next time and head over to the anomaly and maybe buy a suit slot even, if we remember. Until next time, everybody, have a good time. <laughs>